Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birdtail. Welcome back to the channel. So we are going to be jumping into Attack on Titan Season 1 with Episode 3. This is going to be my reaction to it. And before I jump into that, I just want to say right out the gate, thank you guys all for the support of my Episode 1 reaction of Attack on Titan. At the time of this recording right now, Episode 1 has gone up on YouTube. Episode 2 is still on Patreon, and I'm sitting down to record Episode 3. But I've gotten so many people that are really excited for me to kind of go on this rejourney experience with this series because it's been well over 10 years since I've seen season one and from my episode one reaction itself a lot of people are excited to kind of go on this journey I actually didn't know I got a lot of comments that were mentioning that Attack on Titan is one of those shows that gets better the more you rewatch it. Like every time you watch it, you learn something new. So I actually think that this was very serendipitous that I'm kind of I'm kind of going into this show with the expectation of refamiliarizing, refreshing myself with the lore and like the current plot that's going on leading into the new stuff that I haven't seen with season three and season four and the OVAs and stuff like that. But I actually didn't know that Attack on Titan kind of aged in such a way that would elicit you to rewatch it. It. so from episode one and episode two that you guys have probably already seen if you guys are watching this a lot of those oh my gosh i remember that or um you know just kind of those things and a lot of things i didn't remember a lot of things kind of went over my head from how i consumed anime back in the day versus how i do it now from a source of uh from like a content creator perspective and like a theory crafting perspective and stuff like that so right out the gate the reception has been incredible um this is coming from someone who has pretty much only uploaded ruby and red versus blue content to this channel and um i have like a really big drive to kind of branch out and focus on anime based content in the hiatus of ruby and uh you know in between red versus blue upload but um it's just really exciting to know that people are excited for my reactions and like my thoughts on the series as I continue and don't worry there's going to be other anime content coming down the pipeline in the coming weeks so before anything I just want to say I am really happy that you guys are excited for my thoughts and theories and speculations and commentary on this show as I catch up jumping into episode three though episode two I felt was like a really great kind of primer going into this episode because this is where I feel like a lot of things are going to start moving forward with Eren's journey, kind of joining the Survey Corps, like training regimen with Armin and Mikasa after the events that befell uh, his home and like the transition into like the lifestyle of just trying to survive being a refugee from like the outer parts of the wall and things of that nature. Armin just recently lost, uh, I believe like his grandfather figure. So like Armin has lost something and he wants to fight. Eren has lost something and he wants to fight. And Mikasa only has Eren, so obviously she's willing to fight for him and uh, for their survival and stuff like that. And she kind of gave him a little pep talk at the end of the second episode. Um, a lot of things are still kind of, obviously, we're only in the second episode, but there's just like so many questions that I have regarding Eren and his father and that key and like the sequence of events that happened with that like weird flashback sequence that we didn't get the full context of. Uh, but at the end of the last episode, I'm super excited because I see a lot of the supporting like side characters, you know, like um, the potato girl. And uh, I think I saw Annie in the episode at the end of the last one. So I'm just really excited to just kind of put everything together and like kind of get this train chugging as we as we continue on for more episodes. So uh, with all of that said, that's just kind of where my thoughts are at going into this next episode with Aaron joining the Survey Corps training regimen and trying to like level up and become like a Titan Slayer as the show goes on. So uh, with all of that said, we're going to be jumping into episode three. Thank you guys all so much for your continued support of these videos on YouTube, especially on Patreon. As always, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And without further ado, let us begin. A dim light in the darkness of despair humanity rises again aka humanity rise up we've been oppressed for too long by these godforsaken titans oh this freaking xehanort looking <laughs> okay armin arlet from zygen sheen up bro i literally asked last episode i was like what's our I, I did not remember armin's name okay so we have Aaron jaegermeister mikasa hackermans and armin Alleg alert from zygen sheena collectively that's a stupid name damn bro what the hell's your name what are you doing here i'm trying to help us stay alive thomas wagner okay i do not remember you sir so you probably died i'm sorry i don't remember who lives and who dies to be honest i just remember like the key characters 
Oh. This is a freaking Gordon Ramsay moment. He's like, you are trash. You are an idiot sandwich. You will never amount to anything. Wait, was that guy named Samuel Link Jackson? What the hell? Samuel Link Jackson from Snape Village. I didn't even realize that was a thing. That's so funny. Oh, there she is! Bro, it's so crazy! Oh! Oh my- Ah! Dude, she was here?! Hold up, bro! Wait, is this Ymir? I thought she was a season 2 exclusive character! Hold up! I had no clue she was in season 1 if this is her! What the fuck?! Jean? Oh, I remember this guy. Yeah, I remember him. I don't think he died. Ooh, you want... <laughs> Damn, you little bitch. You want to just run off and let other people do the work? All right, this man literally looks like Xehanort. Marco? Damn, this guy's a hard ass. I mean, you gotta be, right? These motherfuckers are risking their lives. Connie Springer. Okay, I know this guy's in season two, so I know he's not dead. You're doing the salute wrong, my guy. You gotta do it with feeling. Oh my god, dude, you're gonna fucking kill. Oh! Eating a potato. Oh my god. <laughs> He's not talking to me, is he? <laughs> <laughs> this poor girl. Sasha. Yeah, this is the potato girl. People fell in love with her, man. He's like, you want a bite? It's really good. Bruh. She's got it all over her face. I was stressed about this situation, sir, so I started eating. Holy shit. I love her. She's so like honest oh my god like you know what i'll share you are so kind oh you poor thing i'm so sorry oh man dude all these characters i don't know who lives and who dies honestly i know connie stays alive i think he's in season two but i dead ass do not remember oh he's talking about the titans yo reiner oh my fucking god they are literally like Hmm. Do tell us what you think about the Titans. Oh, he's talking about the Colossal. He's armor Titan as well. Yeah. Bro, he's right there! Oh my god. Thank you, Marco guy. You guys are making a spectacle out of this. This shit's traumatizing. <laughs> eat your bread, Aaron. Shut up and eat your bread. <laughs> oh, yeah. So they're gonna. Oh, I remember now. I remember. I remember, I think, what this episode entails. Oh, this is so exciting, man. I can't wait. I didn't realize they sprinkled so much, like re watching, and you just see certain characters in the background just chilling. It's kind of crazy. Oh, I remember Gene. I think he was kind of like a, a cocky guy, like a wise ass at the start. Sir, you do not want this smoke. I'm sorry. Peace. Peace was never an option. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's his girl right there. Damn, I completely forgot that he was in love with her. He's like, holy shit, that's a beautiful woman. You're barking up the wrong tree, my guy. She is already taken. Aaron just doesn't know it yet. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, he's like, I don't want this man's freaking handshake. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm about to be Mr. Celia girl right now. Oh my gosh, Sasha's still running? Get this girl a potato stat. Oh, is that Mikasa? <laughs> oh, wait. Who is this? Oh, I, I forgot this girl. I think she's in season two also. Bro, everyone in season two was in season one. How did I miss this? Bro, literally. I feel like I didn't even watch season one. Like this shit. What was I watching? I literally thought these were season two only characters that were introduced. Yeah, so Ymir and I don't remember this girl's name. Damn, bro. What are all the Titans just in hiding over here for? This is so creepy. Uh, all right. Sasha has a debt to pay, it seems. All right. So this is the 3D maneuver gear. Um... Like the training. Yep, I remember this. Eren has a difficult time doing this. Which is wild, too. Because it kind of... I, I, I think that was on purpose now that I think about it. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Connie, Sasha, Jean. Oh, my God, Eren. 
Yeah, I think... Bro, this is fucking wild when you watch this back. I think one of the Titans sabotaged it so Eren didn't get in to make it easier to like capture him. All right, information we can share so far. Three-dimensional maneuver gear training. Three-dimensional maneuver gear training is a difficult process meant to force the trainee to adapt from moving in a flat 2D plane to a 3D space. High endurance, strong legs, good spatial awareness, and nerves of steel are prerequisites. Yeah, this is kind of wild when you think about it. I think everyone has their own like, I don't know if it's this little pulley ses thing or something, but I think somebody may have sabotaged his set yeah it's like how can i channel my rage into fighting the titans if i can't even like be get through freaking combat training is mikasa dressed up like super formally she's wearing like a red dress now mm, i like the music that's playing right here the piano oh mikasa she's like wherever you go Aaron, i'll go with oh Hell? I can't help but like laugh at some of these. Mo oh my gosh. She's like, yo, you gonna eat that? I know this is like a serious anime with like death and trauma and all that, but this is hilarious. Oh! <laughs> Bro, what the hell? That's so savage. She's like, fuck out of here with that bullshit. This is my bread. I feel so bad laughing. Like, bro, we just saw everyone die in the last episode. Damn, bro. Connie's really coming for your neck, Aaron. Talk shit, get hit, bro. He's talking all that shit, and now he can't even get through the freaking training. <gasps> you motherfuckers! Uh, Oh my goodness gracious. Don't! Oh my! Bro, this is insane! You guys! Wow. This is so cruel to children bro what was that bro i am so glad i'm re-watching this shit i had no idea i don't even know if i should believe what they're saying because i don't know where these two are from i know that they're titans but like they also were like oh i want to get back to my homeland i'm like i so what, did you become the enemy to get what you want? Like, I don't know if they're putting on a front right now to gain their trust or if there's if there's some truth to what they're saying. It's so crazy to think that he is probably the most threatening Titan of them all as of right now. Like, the walls cannot stop uh, Berthold. And they know who Eren is, but they're just, like, keeping him close for some reason. That is some foul behavior. What I want to know is, like, how did they, like, how did they, like, pass like certification or whatever like i guess i guess technology and stuff in this day and age is very primitive like there's not it's not like they can just run out like a freaking scantron to like verify their credentials or something it's like hey i'm from this small village somewhere you've probably never heard of but you know trust me bro to return to the homeland i lost that is all i have left to go on i'm going back no matter what I literally don't know if that is to be. I don't know if that's true. Like, I, I dead ass do not know who the fuck these people are. I decided I had to kill them all. Yeah. That just leaves you, buddy. I don't know what that's going to mean by the end. Oh, shit. He's like, yo, did this fucking kid threaten me just now? That was like a Reiner will remember that moment. What the hell are they taking these kids? They're like, yeah, let's just go off the beat. I mean, realistically, they, they're in the safest hands possible right now. So it's like, bro, I have no clue what I'm getting into. Like, I literally feel like I'm watching season one for the first time. I don't remember any of this shit. Review and recheck everything, starting with your belt. Tomorrow will go fine. Aaron Yeager, was it? Yep. Target acquired. Mmm, Reiner. What a faded encounter. Holy shit. <clears throat> this guy. This man strikes fear into the hearts of millions. And the crazy thing is... He holds it, even though it's faulty. Which kind of makes you wonder who... Like, why is it faulty in the first place? Let's go, my dude! Yes! Yeah, that's crazy. 
Hmm. It almost seems like the teacher even wants him or the instructor wants him to pass. He's like, oh man, you know, you have what it takes. Yes! There's some tampering going on, bro. I swear to fucking God. Look at that. That has to be important. Someone, I don't know if it was Reiner, Berthold, Annie, Ymir. I don't fucking know. The fitting of your belt was damaged. I've never seen this part getting damaged. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of sus. Wow, that's actually incredible. I didn't realize that. That there was like some plotting going on even this far back. Let's go! You did it, my boy! Time to kill all Titans. Aaron's like, yo, I'm with my friends. Oh my god! Grisha? Oh, that's why he knows his dad! Is that his name? Grisha Jaeger? I didn't even know. So Grisha and... Uh, what's the mom's name? Uh, Carla? Grisha and Carla Jaeger. Okay. Let's go, my boy! <laughs> nice. To be continued. I'm so pumped, man. So immediately after watching this episode, uh, two things come to mind. Number one, I thought this was a really great, like, introductory sequence going in, like, as a third episode, kind of getting you to understand the banter and the camaraderie and just the overall flavor of other characters that are going to be showcased throughout season one outside of like the main three characters. Um, but secondly, I'm convinced I never watched season one. Like I'm really dead ass. I think like I dreamed that I watched it and like my subconscious is filling in those gaps because the only thing that I remember from this episode after rewatching it is that this was the episode that Aaron has problems balancing on the 3D maneuver gear. And even back then, I never correlated it to sabotage potentially like someone was actually trying to prevent Aaron from joining the survey corps I just thought it was like oh you know it's the it's the conflict of the episode that has to be overcome for the protagonist to carry on like I wasn't as perceptive as I am now I'm, I'm a lot older I'm a lot wiser um but god damn dude I did not know that Ymir and the blonde hair I don't remember the blonde hair I think her name yeah, I don't know what her name is. I'm not even going to try. Um, Ymir and the blonde haired girl. I thought they were season two characters. I did not know they were in season one. I don't know what the hell, what, what was I doing back then that I didn't notice that? I did not remember that uh, Reiner and Berthold actually had a conversation, like a full on like conversation talking to Eren and Armin about the Titans and all that stuff, like listening in, like eavesdropping on their table conversation, talking about going back home to their original home that they lost and i'm like is this man like telling the truth is he playing up is, is is this an act is this like an alternate persona like i i don't know i don't know anything about these two i don't know where the titans come from i don't know where reiner and berthold come from i don't know how they got involved with this whole titan situation along with annie and Ymir, like, I, I, I'm so in the dark with that, because it's not even explained in season two, I'm just as dark, I was just as in the dark at the end of season two, back when I watched it, as I am now, and so for me, going into it, I'm really trying to, like, use every freaking synapse in my brain to think, like, is he being truthful, is this, like, a uh, 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 is this them trying to like, like, uh, like, so like, so the seeds of doubt in them so that way they can like basically become best friends and get close to the target. Cause they, I assume that they're, they're trying to track down Aaron. Like Aaron is important to the Titan objective and the father's not in the picture. And so like, they're just trying to like push him in a certain direction. I feel like if he wasn't going to join the survey Corps it would have been a better opportunity because he would have been even like he wouldn't have had like Mikasa or Mikasa would have followed him, but he wouldn't have as much authority, you know what I mean? Or, you know, whatever kind of pull to be able to defend himself against Titans. So that just kind of blew my mind. The fact that there was like the grander plot was being set up from this episode, seeing all of these characters that become like the antagonists from Eren's perspective. Um, it's something that I didn't realize was sprinkled in this early on because now it really makes me think every episode that they're in, I'm going to be hyper focused. I'm going to be hyper, like, like analyzing, like, what are they doing? What does this imply? And so on and so forth. So it's just really interesting to see how that plays out. Seeing a lot of the supporting characters was really great too. I remember Connie is in season two, so I know that he's fine. I think it, I think it goes a little bit into Connie's backstory in season two. We got Potato Girl, which that entire sequence was hilarious. I know that she was a major fan favorite 
during season one for obvious reasons. She has got like this quirky uh, kind of like uh, sporadic personality when it comes to her love for food and just like, I guess, fighting Titans and being just like this cheery character. Uh, from time to time. Aaron and Jean's relationship is another thing that I think develops over the course of the show. Uh, him having like a crush on Mikasa and all that stuff was very interesting to just re-experience again. So some of these moments, like the, 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 the instructor, for example, was uh, I never realized it back then. I don't even think I played Dream. I don't think I played Birth by Sleep back in 2013. I didn't play Birth by Sleep until it came to the PS3. Back it, I think it was in 2014 that uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Final Remix uh, came to the PS3, and I played Birth by Sleep for the first time after Season One of Attack on Titan came out. But looking back on it now, the man is bald, and he's got yellow eyes, and he's got a goatee. He literally looks like Master Xehanort from Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. For any of you guys out there who may be Kingdom Hearts fans, but I didn't realize how uncanny his his design was until now, which was kind of crazy. But yeah, I loved the ending part too. I didn't realize that he knew Eren's father. Like his father's name is Grisha. Grisha Jaeger and Carla Jaeger are the mother and father of Eren Jaeger. So uh, it's kind of cool to just have the parents' names. I still don't know anything about the father. If the father's kind of like out in the world doing his thing or what the hell happened with him because... Uh, he's not in season two either, so I'm just like, going into this is just really fun. It's just really fun. It's really exciting um, because I'm really remembering stuff or kind of experiencing it even, it feels like, for the first time. So, um, you know, it's going to be really fun and great to kind of have all of this information collected and, you know, put in the back of my mind to think on and theorize on going into season three. But yeah, I, overall, I thought the episode was great. I, I feel like it sets up the foundation for these characters because they're going to be going out into the world and fighting. I know that there's a bloodbath coming pretty soon. Like, these guys are going to get caught off guard and a bunch of characters are going to die. And I don't remember if any characters that were introduced in this episode are going to make it or not. Obviously, the key players are still going to be around. I know that much, but... I just know that at some point, I think it's another episode or two that like shit's just going to hit the fan with uh with season one. And then that's when we get like Eren becoming a Titan and then how that kind of turns the tide for humanity. And then he even kind of goes through some struggles with that. And then we get into like everything else in the future with Levi's squad, which I don't know. See, that's the thing. That's another thing too. going into this season. I don't remember like the pacing beats like I know now Eren's joining the Survey Corps. I don't know what happens between now and Levi's squad and what happens between Levi's squad to fighting Annie and then what happens for that going into season two. So like a lot of those beat to beats, like episode to episode moments is actually really important for me to watch these on an episode to episode basis and really like absorb as much information as I can. Cause I know Levi's squad comes in pretty soon and then like Aaron becomes like a special case for them. Um, to kind of join them and kind of learn from from like the the higher echelon like uh, Titan fighters or Titan killers or whatever you want to call it. So uh, overall, I'm just really, really excited to just see how things play out. Really happy that this episode kind of gave me a lot more than I was expecting. I thought we were just going to get the typical like new character introduction training course. Eren overcomes the obstacle. We move on. I did not know that they dropped so many breadcrumbs of things that I shouldn't know if I was a first time watcher, but upon rewatching, it's like an episode like this that people were telling me in the last episode or in episode one's comments that uh, Attack on Titan is really rich with rewatchable, like replayability, right? Like rewatch value. There's a lot of rewatch value where you notice things that you didn't notice before. And I feel like I've never watched season one watching it now. So um, with all of that said, I really hope you guys are enjoying this series, my commentary, everything else in between. I'd love to know what you guys think about this episode. Any of the thoughts that I mentioned in the comments, please keep it spoiler free. I don't want any mods to shadow ban people if they're kind of breaking the rules or trying to ruin my experience. But uh, episode three of Attack on Titan is down. I really, really am in looking forward to seeing where it goes from here and remembering and kind of going through that journey with all of you. But uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.